Hi friends! It is December. It is my favorite month of the year. Not only because it is Christmas, and if you don't celebrate Christmas or any other holiday this month, that is okay. But I love December because I get to spend time with my family. I get to see all the Christmas lights or twinkling lights when I'm driving across town. It's just something about December that I love. Okay, so for this activity, we're going to need a few things, okay? Now remember, if you don't celebrate Christmas or any other holiday this month, that is okay. If you don't want to do this activity, that is okay. If you want to see me do other activities that are not holiday related, please send me an email so we can find new activities for you, okay? Hi friends, so today we're going to be making a Christmas countdown, okay? So maybe you can already imagine what we're going to make. We need red, white, what is red and white during this season? Santa Claus, right? Now, a lot of you may not celebrate Christmas and you don't have to do this. If you don't celebrate Christmas, that is okay. You can do any other DIY. Also, if you want to do other activities that are not Christmas related or holiday related, just let me know, send me an email so we can, um, so I can find other activities, okay? So the first thing we need is red and white construction paper. We need a glue or a glue stick. You want to have markers, maybe even some crayons, a pencil, and some scissors. You will also need cotton balls, but I do not have any cotton balls on hand, but that is okay. All right, so the first thing we want to do is draw a circle. Now, it doesn't have to be so big. It can be up to you how big you want to do it, okay? So mine's going to be medium-sized because I don't want it that big. This is going to go on my wall to count down for Christmas. Notice how my circle is not turning out perfect, and that is okay. I will just go back and erase the lines that I do not want. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a little trick. Now this is the head for Santa Claus, but I don't want him to have a white head, right? And I don't know if you can see my circle, it's not perfect, but that's okay. I don't want his face to be completely white because his beard is going to be white. So I'm taking my Mark, I mean my crayons and the little trick is that before cutting it I'm just going to color color my whole circle notice how I'm going out of the line but will it matter once I cut it out nope does not matter which is why I'm going over it like this I'm gonna show you is it the perfect circle no did I color outside of the lines Yes, I did, but that's okay. And you can't really tell maybe on camera, but I went out of the circle. Now notice, I'm going to cut my circle and all that is scribbled outside of it won't really matter. Okay. Now my circle is done. What is next? Let's do his hat. I'm going to go back with this piece of paper again. Instead of throwing it away, I'm going to draw the bottom part of Santa's hat. Now let me put this here so I know how big I want it. It's that fluffy part of Santa's hat, right? It looks like a caterpillar. I'm going to make it smaller so I can cut it out easier. Okay, now it doesn't have to look exactly like this. You can maybe do a square if you want to do a square, but this is good practice to cut your little part of the hat out. It's good practice because we're going up and down, up and down. Notice how I'm moving my paper, not my scissors. I'm moving my paper. See, the scissors stay in one place. The only thing I'm moving is the paper. Okay, let's cut this out. And 
and there we go. Now this part will go right here. Maybe I can color Santa's head a little bit darker. Next, we're going to go in with our red construction paper. I'm going to put this here so I know how big I want his hat to be. It's going to be like that. Maybe I want it a little bit bigger. There we go. I did two lines again, but that's okay. I'm trying out different sizes until I find a size that I like. I'm going to cut that out. And I forgot one thing with the white paper. I forgot the little pom-pom on top of Santa's hat. I'm going to do another. It looks like a little cloud. Now I have four pieces together. Let me move my papers. I'll go back to those. All right, Santa and the parts of his hat. Now it doesn't look like Santa yet because he doesn't have a face, right? I'm going to put glue right here. And the first thing I'm going to glue is the red hat because I want to cover this with white. The white fluffy stuff. See if I put this over it, it'll look like he is wearing the hat. You don't want to use a lot of glue because then it, your paper might get a little soggy. So a little bit of glue and gluing that down. Now I need to glue the top part, the little fluffy ball he has on top of his hat. All right, we have one part of our Santa. Now, we're going to do the beard. Again, I'm going to put Santa right here so I know how big I want his beard to be and how wide. Maybe I, if I don't put Santa's head right here, his hat might be a little bit, I mean, the beard might be a little bit wider, right? We want it just the same size, putting Santa's head to the edge of the paper and right here. So now I'm going to measure right here and I'm going to see how long. Hmm, let's do a silly size. And remember, we need a big beard too so we can write all the days in December. So we're going to do hmm, what do you guys think? All right, now we're going to cut it out. I'm going to cut straight across here because that part doesn't matter. It won't be seen. And I'm going to cut this big piece out so it's easier for me to move my paper when I'm cutting it out. All right, notice how I have, it looks like a tree, hmm? Upside down, it looks like a tree. I'm going to do Now, if you don't want to do Santa, maybe you can do an elf. And instead of doing a beard on an elf, you can do maybe his suit, his green suit. That could be your countdown. Okay. Now, notice how it, his beard is a little bit wider. I'm going to cut this part out. And that looks okay. Right? I'm going to glue it. But I'm, going, I'm not going to glue it on top. I'm going to glue it behind because his mouth is going to be covered. I'll put glue on Santa. Notice how much glue I put on there. I'm going to glue this on top. Okay. Almost done. Not complete, but almost. Next, I'm going to do some eyes. I'm going to take my black marker and just do a little dots. I 
and a little nose. And I'm going to use a highlighter to give him pink cheeks. You can maybe use a crayon for this part too. Okay, notice how his mouth is covered by the beard, right? So now we're going to write our numbers one through 31. So today is the first, I'm going to use a red marker. You can use any color you want. So I'm going to write one, two, three, Now, I wrote all my numbers, one through 31. Why did we do one through 31? Right, because we have 31 days in December. So now that my Santa is done, we can cover one, because yesterday was the first, and today the second will be over. Today is the December 2nd. We're going to put a cotton ball on top of it, and then so on. After each day, you're going to put another cotton ball, and then we're going to make his beard. And you're going to be able to tell how many days are left in December or how many days are left to Christmas. We can circle Christmas. Let's do green. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I circled those because those are the days I like to celebrate. 